All right, I got another package of circuit boards. Just came today. There's the customs declaration from, I don't know where it came from. China, I think. Anyway, it's nothing I like more than circuit boards. So let's open these things up. Now these are from Easy EDA, same as, same as last time. It's online design. Um, you don't have to use their service to build the boards, but it's there it's very inexpensive and that's so I do and they make pretty nice boards. Um, so let's see what we got here. I actually had such good luck last time that I ordered I made two boards. Look at that. Alright. These are um, some companion boards for the ones that I made last time. The other one, the, the ones I made last time hold the microchip that actually controls things. And then this is a, a power adapter. So this, um, I'm putting in a SN754410, which is a quad half bridge, or quad, I don't know, yeah, quad half bridge uh, to run the stepper motor. So this is the little power board. So we'll open those up. And then this is a hat for a Raspberry Pi. So let's see if we can get these things open. I should have got a sharper knife. This kitchen knife is not cutting it. I just love these boards. Oh, I already corrected this mistake, but this should say SN754410. I put a 01 on there. I had to go back and change it, but I'd already ordered the board, so too bad there. All right, it's a great board. Very nice. Get a good focus on that. Cool. All right, let me open this up. All right, this will probably be a separate, separate deal. Ah, cut my rubber band. All right. This is a, um, it's a prototyping board for a Raspberry Pi. So this will actually fit on the pins of the Raspberry Pi. And then you've got pinouts down here. So all the GPIOs are here. All the COM outputs are here, output inputs. And then this is just your little prototyping area down here. So you've got positive and negative bus, both there are three places. Negative on this side, positive on this side. You can switch from five volts to three volts. I'll put a you know pin header there and put a jumper on that. Plate through holes. Man, I just love these boards. All right. I like it. I'm going to uh, put one of these together. And then uh, we'll have a look back at it. Very good. All right, we've got a couple of these boards soldered up. And so these were the old boards. So here's my power supply. This is just an old, uh, you know, ATX power supply. I put a switch on it and a light. And then these are the new, these are the old boards that you saw. And then here are the new boards. So this goes a long ways. I've got five channels running here, so I can run five stepper motors. And these are the microchips that are doing the work, you know, getting the signal from the computer. And then these are the power boards, so they can handle, you know, up to an amp per channel. So let me get a little close up there. So that's the new boards. And I've got it running my... Uh, the light's not very good right here, but 
got to run in my little clicker. Um, I got another video for that right there, but that's just what, uh, uh, what these, so here's these new boards all soldered up. Looks great, man. That's just way, way neater than that rat's nest of stuff that I had before. Love these boards.